Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to another episode of InRange. I'm here with Eric Solberg from Veltor Weapon Systems. You guys were kind sponsors of Desert Brutality 2019 and also provided an opportunity to come out here to your facility to talk about somewhat about what Veltor does, not only on the civilian and military market, and maybe you could tell our audience what Veltor is all about. Uh, yeah, I'd be happy to. So Veltor Weapon Systems has been around in Arizona since 2004, and uh, we do primarily uh, the AR-15 platform, we make everything from the ground up other than barrels and bolt carrier groups and triggers, but we make everything else you see, stocks, receivers, upper receivers, handguards. Um, from there, we also do accessories for other weapon systems, uh, AKs, FALs, SCARs, M1As. Uh, we also do receiver kits for the PKM system. Yeah, that's really interesting. So when we're looking at this table here, we see ARs over here, we get an AK, we've got a FAL, we've got a SCAR, we've got an M14, and then you've got the PKM. The PKM really surprised me. I think the audience will find that interesting as well. What are you doing with the PKM? So currently we're just doing the receivers themselves. We do semi-automatic and full-auto builds. Mm -hmm. um, we don't do the full semi-automatic builds, uh, but we do the full auto, other semi-automatic receivers themselves. Who's typically the consumer for a PKM product? Because you don't see a lot of them on the civilian market, for example. So there are some civilians uh, that have both the semi-automatics and the full autos. Mm -hmm. There's a lot less of the full autos in the civilian market, but uh, SOTs and stuff like that is what the uh, full autos are for, military law enforcement, oh. familiarization weapons. Uh, weapons ah, like foreign weapons familiarization exactly. as yeah. well. I know that there was some investigation with the with the military, in fact, about dealing with the PKM more as actually a weapon, but they had issues with like the, re the uh, essentially the durability of the weapons platform. Well, I believe that happened whenever they transferred over to a NATO round. Mm -hmm. the, the NATO caliber PKMs have never held up like the standard uh, Comlock stuff. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, the, the, but the PKM itself and the standard uh, 760 by 54 r is the best belt fitted out there. Cool. And then, so in terms of the convergence between the civilian and military side, so like what's the civilian side of Veltor versus the military side? Primarily, we're, we're primarily a, a civilian company. Okay. Um, we do most of our sales and components for our, all these different weapon systems for personal builds, uh, but we do delve into the military world as far as components and upgraded weapon systems. Okay. Uh, a lot of people know our A5 system, and that came about from an upgrade program mm -hmm. for the Marine Corps for their uh, M4 rifles, mm -hmm. M16 rifles. Okay. So when people, if people in the audience don't know, the A5 buffer system really made a big difference in, the, in not only the reliability, but the perceived even recoil on the Correct. system. Yeah. And then now you also have the adjustable system as well, which we're going to talk more about in range later, but that's a very interesting product. Yeah. So like when we're looking at the table here, maybe we'll go through this a little bit. So what we got here, we have handguards. Yeah, so we have a handguard, handguard extension, which is new for this year. We released at SHOT Show. Mm -hmm. That kind of gives you more real estate to extend out over a, a, a suppressor. Sure. We also have some new uh, anodized options. So this is a uh, uh, Cryptek anodized. Okay. And then we have a sad fan and then a dune color. Wow. So the, the, the sad fan is this darker brown, uh, South African Defense Force. Desert Nutria. Mm -hmm. um, then we have um, the Cryptek, and the, the, the Dune is a lighter color, mm -hmm. more of a flat dark earth color. Those are going to be anodized options for a lot of our components here in the future. Okay. Uh, as well as an OD Green. Oh, what they're doing. cool. And then you got the A5 buffer system, you got the modular buffer system there, which we're going to talk about more. Yep. You got products here for the AK as well. We are going to, and this is kind of a point of interest, is the M Lock system. Uh, Voltor is the originator of the key mod system. Yes. A lot of people like it, don't like it for various reasons. We're not going to do that today. Yeah, but sure. There, we have a customer base that wants the M Lock, so we're mm -hmm. going to start introducing all of our product line in the M Lock. Wow. Foul products, another handguard, right? Yep. Okay. Foul. We do uh, just the handguards for the foul, the short and the long mm -hmm. versions. And then for the SCAR, we have handguards with extension, and then we have two different uh, stock adapters that we offer. Excellent, excellent. Even the, uh, the old venerable M14 here? Yep. So it's an entire chassis here we're doing. Entire chassis, chassis okay. here with an adjustable uh, stock adjustment for cheek uh, rest. Okay, and then we have a PKM, which we talked about. You do the receivers in semi-automatic, but used by SOTs to do full auto exactly. or otherwise. Okay. And then we've also got what looks like some sort of grenade launcher here. What's going on there? So our sister company, uh, Milkcore USA, mm -hmm. it's a, um, they primarily do grenade launchers. So okay. Six shot grenade launchers. So this, this is, is a, a sample of the M32A1, which they make for the Marine Corps. 40 millimeter? Correct, all 40 millimeter. Hopefully in the future you'll see some 37, 38 millimeter stuff, but mm -hmm. that's a little ways down. This is obviously more on the military side of the military fence. Military and law enforcement. <laughs> yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Excellent. Anything else you'd like to tell the audience about Veltor or anything else? But we'd like to thank you again for your sponsorship for Desert Brutality. It's you guys that keep that kind of shooting and competition spirit alive. And it's in places like Veltor that are, enable us to even have an event like that. So yeah. I'm thankful for that. Yeah, we're more than happy to support you guys, and we like we want to support the community. So we're more than happy to. Well, thank you so much for having a demonstration of all of your interesting products and for putting this kind of stuff out on the market and supporting the shooting sports. Anytime. Thanks. Appreciate it.